There are many ahadith relating to the fact that Muslim are a single united body. Each part is responsible for the other. If one of the parts is injured or hurt, the rest of the body feels that pain. The brotherhood of Muslim has a very deep and wide concept that guarantees the safety and well-being of the Islamic society at large. Islam being a complete way of life it promotes a healthy and a well disciplined lifestyle in every sense of the word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declare muslim as brethren to each other as the quran says a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim innamal mu'minuna ikhwatun fa aslihu bayna akhawaykum وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ All believers are but brothers. Therefore, seek reconciliation between your two brothers and fear Allah so that you may be blessed with mercy. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also was reported to have said, الْمُسْلِمُ أَخُ الْمُسْلِمُ لَا يَظْلِمُهُ وَلَا يُسْلِمُ وَمَنْ كَانَ فِي حَاجَةِ يَقِي كَانَ اللَّهُ فِي حَاجَتِهِ وَمَنْ فَرَّجَ عَنْ مُسْلِمٍ كُرْبَةً فرج الله عنه كربة من كربات يوم القيامة ومن ستر مسلما ستره الله عنه يوم القيامة أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام A Muslim is a brother of another Muslim So he should not oppress him nor should he hand him to an oppressor Whoever fulfilled the needs his brother Allah will fulfill his needs And whoever brought his brother the discomfort Allah will bring him out of the discomfort of the day of resurrection And whoever is screened a person Allah will screen him on the day of resurrection. Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 2262. Islam emphasizes brotherhood and unity. It forbids the things which may harm this spirit. It is forbidden, for example, for two Muslims start whispering in the presence of the third person, this might offend him and lead him to think otherwise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited us backbiting and mocking others. As the Quran says, وَلَا يَغْتَبْ بَعْضُكُمْ بَعْضًا Don't backbite each other. Surah Al-Hujrat, chapter number 49, ayah number 12. It is not permissible for a Muslim to see a relation with his brother more than three days. They are asked to show kindness to others, to respect elders and care younger ones. They are taught to greet each other with As-salamu alaykum, peace be upon you. Likewise, a Muslim is not really a believer if he eats his full stomach while ignoring the plights of hungry neighbor. Dear friends, in one hand there are bright teachings of Islam. But on the other hand, Muslims are far away from Islamic etiquettes in life. This is the big problem in Muslim society today. In everything we are divided. We are disputing each other. Even we can't live together peacefully. Our brothers are suffering across the globe. But we are only meet spectators. You know what is the reason behind our heart heartedness? It is nothing but our arrogance on little difference. Dear intellectuals, we are totally divided. Because everyone is a big leader in his thoughts. That's why each one is calling kafir and thinking inferior. Wallah, it is reality. So what happened? Leaders are fighting, debating and blaming one another. And common people are very confused. Because they see their leaders act against Sharia. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited us to have dispute among us. And, and us to be united. Brothers, it is crystal clear that. Fighting gives you nothing except shame, failure and loss. You know, today 1.8 billion Muslims are across the world. I ask one question. Don't we share the same shahada? Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah? Isn't it stronger than the bonds of bloods? Yes, brother. 
we need desperately to put aside our differences and come together. It is a passionate call. We want peace. We are searching for peace. It can't be gained without unity. In last, I want to mention a beautiful quotation of an American journalist, Max Lerner said, you may call for peace as unity. You may call for peace as loudly as you wish, but you can't. But you, but uh, but but where there is no brotherhood, you can't there in the in the be in peace. In last, I pray Allah that bless this brother, bless this ummah with the spirit of truth, and make them exemplary people. Wa khurudawana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.